Pepper Young's Family. Pepper Young's Family is the true-to-life story of your friends, the Youngs. We'll be with them in just a moment after this message from our sponsor. Yesterday, Peggy was the happiest girl in Elmwood. Then she saw the morning paper, and the world came tumbling about her ears. Because there, on the front page, was the very thing she dreaded most. Headlines announcing her engagement to Carter Trent. Her one thought is to call Carter before he reads the paper and explain as best she can how the whole thing happened. Edie, for the life of her, can't see why Peggy's acting like the tragic muse. But she's trying to be helpful. They're ringing. Oh, Peggy, what do you want me to say? Ask for Carter, Edie. No, 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 wait. Give me the phone. Hello? This is Miss Young. I want to speak to Carter Trent, please. Yes. Yes, I'll hold the wire. Oh, yes, it's very important. Please tell him I've got to speak to him right away. I'll hold the phone for you, Peggy, so you don't have to stand oh, there. Oh, I don't mind, Edie. Only, what am I going to tell him? How am I ever going to explain? What am I going to say? Now, don't worry about that, darling. He'll understand. Oh, he won't understand, Mama. Where's Pepper? I think if he told him... He's gone down to the newspaper office, I think. Oh, I wish he hadn't gone. I wish he were here right now. Maybe if he'd stayed and talked to Carter, it would... Hello? Oh, oh, Carter? Carter, I... What? Oh, yes, yes, I'm all right, only... Carter, I've got to see you right away. I I must talk to you about something important. Well, yes, I I know, but I I can't tell you over the phone, Carter. I, I... I, I just can't, that's all. Carter, please come as soon as you can, will you? All right. Goodbye. Well, of course he's going to see the paper. Somebody's bound to show it oh, to him. Oh, really? I hope not. I just hope that I can tell him, that I, I can just explain it to him. Only, there isn't really any explanation, is there? Mama, what if he's furious? What if, what if he won't forgive me? Of course he'll forgive you, Peggy. There's nothing to forgive. You haven't done anything. I know that, but Pepper did. My own family did. How am I ever going to explain that? Now, after all, your brother merely gave out an account of your engagement. And if they chose to enlarge on it... To enlarge on it? Look at it, Mama. Two whole columns. Oh, doesn't it look gorgeous? Oh, I mean, mean, it looks terrible, doesn't it? (sighs) I'd rather have died than to have this happen. But, darling, surely Carter can't blame you for a mistake that Pepper made. And nobody can blame Pepper either. He didn't know how the Trents fell. But when he did find out, he should have stopped it somehow. Well, he did the best he could. The Trents will just have to read it and like it. Oh, Edie, stop talking like that. Yes, Edie, that's really no help at all. Well, I'll answer. Hello? Oh, Peggy, it's for you. Who is it, Carter? No, it's just Ruth Wilson. She wants to know if it's true that you're going to marry Carter Trent. Well, I won't speak to her. I won't speak to anybody. Tell her that I... Oh, tell her anything you like. I... Uh, yes, it's true, Ruth. But Peggy didn't want to have it announced that way. She's sort of modest about it, if you know what I mean. Yes, I'll tell her. Yes. Goodbye. Oh, my goodness. Uh, hello? Oh, oh, hello. It's for you again, Peggy. It's for... I don't want to know who it is, E. Just tell him that... Oh, I don't know what to tell him. Mama, what will I tell them? You needn't say anything until Carla gets here. Oh, yes, I'll tell her. Oh, yes, indeed, we're awfully excited. Everybody's simply thrilled to death. Yes, he's a darling boy. You'd never know he had millions and millions Edie, of... Edie, stop talking like that. Oh, well, goodbye. It was... I a... told you I don't want to know, Edie. Oh, will that phone ever stop ringing? Hello? Hello? Who? Oh, Peggy, it's Carter for you. Carter? Oh, give me the phone. Hello, Carter. This is Peggy. But, but, Carter, you've got to get over here somehow. I've got to talk to you, don't you see? But why can't you get off? But, Carter, don't you see? If, if, if I tell you over the phone, it would just ruin everything. I... Well, well then, all right, I, I... I will if you feel that way about it. Only it, it's going to be terribly hard. Carter, have you seen the morning paper? You haven't? Well, something terrible has happened. Something that that couldn't be helped. Yes. 
Yes, that's right. It, yes, it, it is about us. Yes, that's it. Carter, I, I, I didn't give it to them. I, I didn't tell them anything. I, I refused to talk to that reporter just the same as you did. Please try to come as soon as you can, and, and then I'll tell you just how it happened. Only don't be too angry, will you? Because it, it isn't my fault. Honestly, it isn't. I, I didn't give one word of it to anybody. Not a single word. We'll be back with the Youngs in just a moment after this message from our sponsor. As Peggy hangs up after talking to Carter, she looks despairingly at Edie and her mother, who are standing by the phone. Mrs. Young asks, What did he say, Peggy? Oh, Mom, he, he just said over and over again, but how can it be, Peggy? I... I just couldn't tell him it was Pepper. I couldn't. I knew he'd be so angry he'd never forgive Pepper or, or any of us. Oh, nonsense. You'd think a crime had been committed. After all, I appreciate that the Trents don't want publicity, but certainly Carter isn't going to be unreasonable about it. He better not be. He feels just terrible. I could tell he does. He kept saying that that's the one thing I hoped wouldn't happen, Peggy. Oh, ma'am, I, I, I just don't know what to do. Oh, no, don't worry. It'll work out. When you go to Chicago to see the trans... Go to Chicago? I'm not going to Chicago. Don't you see? I, I can't go. I mean, I, I could never face them now. That's nonsense. The trans aren't going to hold this against you. Of course they aren't, dear. While they may dislike all this, it was bound to happen anyhow. Somebody was bound to get hold of the story and publish it. But I couldn't go to their house now. I... I don't think they'd want me. I don't think Carter would want me to go either. I oh, I just feel as if nothing matters now, as if nothing would ever be right between us again. Peggy, you're the silliest girl I ever knew. Here you get a marvelous story about you in the paper, and you act as if it were a disgrace, as if you'd robbed the bank or something. Well, I feel just as bad as if I had. I feel... Oh, dear, I, I don't know what to say. Please, please don't anybody come upstairs. Don't anybody talk to me for a little while. I... I, I want to be alone. Oh, I'll answer. Hello? Oh, oh, it, it's Carter, Mrs. Young. Had I better get Peggy? No, no, no. Let me talk to him. Hello, Carter. This is Mrs. Young. Yes, Peggy's terribly upset. It wasn't her fault, Carter. She knew nothing about it, whatever. I hope you'll explain that to your father and mother. The way it happened? Well, perhaps Peggy better uh, tell you herself when you get here. Yes, I know, dear, you're upset, too, but I assure you we feel far worse about it than you could possibly feel. Yes, dear, I'll tell her. I think it'll make her feel a whole lot better. All right, dear. Goodbye. Peggy? Yes? What is it, Mama? That was Carter on the phone. Well, what did he want? What happened? He merely wanted to say that he was afraid he was a, a little bit short with you on the phone and, and that you are not to worry that everything would be all right. Oh, Mama... Did he really say that? Yes, darling. I think it's going to be all right. Did, did he say he was coming right over? Well, he says it won't be until late this afternoon, but he'll be here as soon as he can. <sighs> I feel a lot better now. Oh, it's a relief, isn't it, that he called up again? That shows he's not mad. Oh, Edie, I didn't say he was mad. I just said he was awfully upset. Wh who's that? I think it's Pepper. Pepper? Yeah? Pepper. Pepper, I, I talked to Carter, and he feels just terrible about all this. He doesn't feel half so bad as the guy over at the press office that I just had the pleasure of telling off. You mean the editor? No, Mr. Goodwin wasn't in. He's out of town. It was this Bird Smith who was there last night. He was still there this morning because Goodwin's away. Well, I told him plenty. Pepper, I, I just couldn't tell Carter over the phone that, that you were responsible. Oh, don't worry. I'll tell him. Peggy, it, it's all my fault, and I'm sorry. I, I wouldn't have done it, not for anything. It's all right, Pepper. I know you didn't mean to do anything to spoil things for me. Of course he did. Oh, that telephone has done nothing but ring. I'll answer it. No, I will. Hello? Who? What did you say? Chicago calling? Well, that's your father. I know it is. He's probably seen it in the paper. Oh, Mama, how could he? he? How could he see it in the paper in Chicago? It isn't in a Chicago paper yet. No, it isn't for you, Mom. It's Mr. Horace Trent. Carter's father. He wants to speak to Peggy. Peggy.
Peggy has had almost more than she can bear today. Why on earth should Carter's father call from Chicago? They say bad news travels fast, but surely the Chicago papers haven't picked up the story this quickly. And now a word from our sponsor. us to see what happens next week on Pepper Young's Family. Lee Stevens speaking. Pepper Young's Family is a production of Nana Radio. Radio.